Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. For today's tutorial, we'll be making an off the shoulder top with straps. For this one, we wanted to keep it light and bright for spring, so there's a flowy casual fit, a Suzette stitch detail along the top and along the three quarter length sleeves, and last but not least, a chain single strap to tie it all together. Speaking of, if you're trying to tie together your wardrobe with some awesome crochet wearables, you are in the right place. We have hundreds of the most modern crochet tutorials and patterns dropping weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now it's time to get on the show, so without further ado. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 350 grams of yarn, and that's 750 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 6mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure, and there is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us if you prefer cake or cupcakes. Now, I am down for any type of cake, so I would have to say both. <laughs> Details for the giveaway down below. We're using four stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. and double crochet. This tutorial is made for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're all going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're all going to grab our 6mm hook and start off by making a chain that starts 2 inches underneath our underarm down to where the bottom of this top to be. So I need roughly 45 chains and that's going to be 11 inches or 28 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're gonna get started on our first row, which is a half double crochet row. So block off that last chain and do a chain two. That chain two does not count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain. Then we're all gonna yarn over and into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook, insert with a half double crochet. So bring your hook down into that chain, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through all three. Again, yarn over, into that next chain, pull through, pull through all three. Continue with one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one. We've put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one, so now let's do an increase together. Yarn over, into that last chain, insert with one, and then into that same last chain with a second half double crochet. That is our increase. Now, we're going to get started on our following even number row, so our row 2, we're all going to chain 2, still doesn't count as a stitch, and flip our work. Now we're going to be doing back loop half double crochets, and at the beginning of every even number row is going to start with an increase. So yarn over. Into that first stitch is back loop, or the loop that's furthest away from us, we're going to insert with one half double, and then into that same stitch is back loop, a second half double crochet, that is our increase. Then from here, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. At the end of the row, chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one so we can increase together once more. We are back and we are nearly finished with our first three rows. At the end of our row three, we should all have one stitch left, so now we're going to do another increase together. So yarn over, into that last stitch's back loop, insert with two half double crochets and that's it from here we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have an underarm portion that reaches from mid underarm over to the front of our body where we want our strap to be so typically around where a bra strap or a tank top strap would be i'll meet you back when we have that all finished up right after an odd number row all right so i am back i have just finished up my underarm portion i have a total of nine rows and my width is roughly four inches or 10 centimeters now from here, we're going to get started on our neckline. So since we should all be along the top, we're all going to chain two and flip our work. Now getting started on our neckline, we're going to be doing a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. 
sew yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitches back loop, pull through, second stitches back loop, pull through for four loops, then yarn over, pull through all four. Then from here, make sure that you're inserting a stitch marker into the edge of this row, just so we know where the edge of our neckline is. And just put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. At the end of the row, chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two so we can decrease together once more. We made our way down with our first neckline row and then made our way back up with our second neckline row, leaving the last two stitches. And we're gonna close off this row with a decrease of two back loop half doubles. So all we're gonna do is yarn over, insert your hook into that second to last back loop, pull through, and then into that last back loop, pull through for four loops on our hook. Then yarn over, pull through all four, and that's it. From here, we're gonna continue to repeat these two rows until this portion can align with the side of the base of our neck. And I'll meet you back right after an odd number row so we can move on with the middle portion of our front panel. All right, so I'm back with the decreased portion of my neckline. I now have a total of 15 rows. My width is now six inches or 15 centimeters. And now we're going to do the middle portion of our neckline, which is just going to be back loop half double crochet rows with no increases and no decreases. So from where we're at, since we should all be aligned with the side of the base of our neck, we're just gonna chain two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. At the end of the row, chain two, flip our work, and repeat until we have a portion that reaches across our chest over to the other side of the base of our neck. And then I'll meet you back right after an odd number row so we can do the other side of our neck scoop. All right, so we are back. We have just finished up the middle portion of our neckline. I have a total of 21 rows now. My width is roughly eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters. And now we're going to mirror everything that we did here. So since we've worked our way all the way across with no increases and no decreases, we're now going to do increases along the edge of our row for the same amount of decrease rows that we had over here. So since we all should have ended along the top, let's all chain two and flip. So we're gonna start our following row off with an increase. So yarn over into that first stitch's back loop with one, and then with a second half double crochet, and now put one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches. At the end of the row, we're all gonna chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while closing off the row with an increase of two back loop half doubles. We're gonna continue to repeat these two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as our decrease portion of our neckline. So just as a reference, I had a total of one, two, three, four, five, six of these decrease rows. So I will now be having six of these increase rows. Then I'll meet you back so we can finish up with our underarm. We are back and we have just finished up the entirety of our neckline. I had the same amount of increase rows as decrease rows that I had over here. And into my last row, I did insert a stitch marker into the increase end to match this stitch marker that we inserted over here. Now from here, we're going to finish off with our underarm. So from here, we should all end along the top, so let's all chain two and flip. And just to get started on this underarm portion, we're going to start with a decrease. So yarn over into that first stitch's back loop, pull through, second stitch's back loop, pull through, pull through all four loops, and from here, continue with one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches. At the end of the row, chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two, and then do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets into the last two stitches. And from here, just continue to repeat those two previous rows until we have the same amount of underarm rows that we started this piece off with. And once we have that, do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so we are back. I have just finished up the entirety of the front panel. I have a total of 36 rows and my width is roughly 14 and a half inches or 37 centimeters. And I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last row. Now from here, we're gonna get started on the back panel, but it's going to be done pretty similarly to the front panel. We just aren't gonna have our neckline decrease and increases. So just to talk you guys through it, we're all gonna start by making the same chain that we made for the front panel. Do the same amount of rows with the same type of increases as the front panel. Then when we have the same amount of rows, we're just going to do back loop half double crochet rows with absolutely no increases and no decreases for the same amount of rows for our first neckline row, all the way across to our last neckline row. And all of these rows will have the same amount of stitches. Then when we have that, we're going to finish off our back panel with the same underarm portion that we did for the front panel. Again, making sure that we have the same amount of rows. And one really quick tip before we move on, we do wanna make sure that we're inserting our stitch marker into the first neckline row for the back panel and the last neckline row for the back panel as well so we can match the front panel so we know where to insert for our straps. But once when that's finished, I'll meet you back so we can do our top detail. 
All right, so we are back. We have just finished up our back panel and now we can get started on the top detail, but we're going to do it separately from the front and the back panel, but it's gonna be done pretty much the same way for both. So what we're going to do first is work on the front panel and we're all going to insert our hook into the top corner stitch of the front panel. Then we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through and start with a chain one. So from here, what we're going to do is alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row until I reach the side row that's right before our stitch marker. So just to do the first one, this is my first side row right here. I'm going to insert into that top loop with one single crochet. This is my following top loop. I'm going to insert my hook into there with two single crochets. So there's one and then into that same top loop with a second. Let's do this one more time. This is my following side row insert with one single into my following side row. I'm going to insert with two. Continue this until we reach our last side row right before our stitch marker. Now, once we reach this corner, what we're going to do is chain one and insert our stitch marker into that chain one. So I'm going to take it out, insert it in through this chain. And then from here, continue to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row until we reach our following stitch marker. But this time our last single crochets will be worked into that stitch marker stitch. So now that we have worked our way over to our following stitch marker stitch, our last set of single crochets, which should be two single crochets into that side row for everyone is worked into that side row. Now from here, we are not going to do a chain one like how we did on this side, but we're just doing that because this row and the following rows are worked in sets of three. So we need to kind of work around that to make sure that we have the same amount of rows for the underarm portions on both sides. So what we're going to do from here is into our following side row, we're going to insert with our following single crochet, which should be just one single crochet for everyone. Insert into that top loop with just one single crochet. And we're now going to insert our stitch marker into that top loop right there. Now from here, continue to alternate between one, which we just did one to two single crochets until we don't have any more stitches left. Then do a chain up of one and cut and then I'll meet you back. So now that our single crochet row is all finished up before we get started on the height of our detail, we all want to make sure that we're inserting our stitch marker into the middle stitch that we have within the neckline. So all we're going to do is start by counting our first available stitch on the other side of our stitch marker on both sides. So since these are my stitch marker stitches right here, I'm going to start by counting this first stitch and then this first stitch over here until I reach our middle stitch. So just as a reference from my first available stitch here across to our last available stitch here, I have a total of 27 stitches. We should all have one middle stitch. And so for me, I've inserted my stitch marker into the 14th stitch and that is the middle for me. Once we have that, we can all get started on the height of our detail. Our single crochet row is finished. We did a chain one and cut. Now we're going to reinsert our hook into the first stitch we made for this single crochet row. Now we're going to get started on the height of our detail. So what we're all going to do is start by making an odd number chain that comes out to about two inches. It's going to be two inches for everyone because that's where we measured out the space that we're going to leave for our detail. So I've already measured mine out and I need a chain of seven. So once we have our chain, we're going to work on our Suzette stitch rows. But since this is an incline, so we're working our way upwards at an angle, we're going to start with our increased portion of our underarm. So whenever we're working our way up, our row is going to start with an increase. So right after our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain two. Now that chain two does not count as a stitch. That's our turning chain from here into that third chain from our hook. We're going to insert with four half double crochets all into that chain. So yarn over into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook. Go ahead and insert pull through pull through all three. That is our first half double crochet. We're going to be doing three more for a total of four. So yarn over into that same chain with a second, same chain with a third and once more, same chain with a fourth half double crochet. Now from here, we're going to do our Suzette stitch set. Now our Suzette stitch set is pretty simple. It's going to be one single and one double crochet into that same stitch. So for everyone right after our increase, we are all going to skip that following chain and then into the chain right after that, we're going to insert with our single crochet and then into that same chain with a double crochet. So yarn over into that same chain, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. 
Now after every Suzette stitch set, we are always going to skip that following stitch because that double crochet counts as that stitch. If we work directly into there, we will be accidentally increasing and we're going to do our Suzette stitch set into the following stitch. Now I'm just going to do the next Suzette stitch set just as an example, but we're all going to continue to do our Suzette stitch set until we have four stitches left and I actually already have four. So I'm just gonna do another set just to show you guys really quickly. So this is a Suzette stitch set. Like I said, we're always going to skip that following stitch and then into the stitch right after that, we're going to insert with a single and a double. So with the same thing, there's my single and here is my double. These are our two Suzette stitch sets right next to each other. Now, like I said, we're gonna continue to do our Suzette stitch set until we all have four stitches left and I actually already had four stitches left. So now we're going to close off the row. Here are my one, two, three, four stitches left and I'm gonna close off the row with a decrease of three half double crochets. So we're all going to yarn over. We're going to skip that following stitch, which is the fourth to last into the stitch right after, which is the third to last, pull through into that following stitch, which is the second to last, pull through, and then into that following stitch, which is the last one, and pull through for a total of one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. Then all together, we're going to yarn over and pull through all five of those loops, and that is our decrease. Now our row one is complete, and we just wanna double check and make sure that we have the same amount of stitches as chains that we made. So since I made a chain seven, I should have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. Since I have the same amount, we're now ready to connect it into the base. So we're all gonna start by counting up the next two available stitches. Here's one, here's two. Into that second stitch into the base, we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through everything with a slip stitch. Now that slip stitch does not count as a stitch, we just needed that to connect it. Now in order to work our way up to the following row, which is another Suzette stitch row, but every even number row is not gonna have any increases or decreases, we're going to slip stitch into that following stitch into the base, pull through everything, still does not count as a stitch and flip our work. And from here, all we're gonna do is our Suzette stitches all the way down. So we're all gonna start by inserting our hook into that first stitch from our previous row, which should be the top of that decrease with a single and a double crochet. Let's do that again. We're going to skip the following stitch and into the stitch right after with a single and a double. And we're gonna continue to do this until we all have two stitches left. I just have one more set to do, so let's do that together. I'm gonna skip one into that following stitch with a single and a double. Now, like I said, continue doing that until we all have two stitches left. And here are my first and second stitch. If it looks like we just have one stitch, then just flip our work over. We should all always end with two stitches left. And that first stitch may be tucked underneath, but it will be there. And all we're gonna do to close off every even number row is half double crochet into that last stitch. So yarn over, skip that following stitch, which is the second to last stitch. And into the stitch right after that, insert, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three, and that's how we close off every even number row. Now let's get started on our following odd number row, or our row three, so we're all going to chain two and flip our work. Now it's just going to be a repeat of our two previous rows, so let's do this again. For every increase portion that we have, we're always going to start with an increase of four half double crochets. So yarn over. Into that first available stitch, which is now the top of that half double crochet, we're gonna insert with one, with two, with three, and with four half double crochets. And again, we're going to skip that following stitch into the stitch right after that with a single and a double, so a Suzette stitch set, and continue to do our Suzette stitch sets until we all have four stitches left. This is my one, two, three, four stitches left. Now from here, we're gonna do a decrease. So yarn over, skip that following stitch, which is our fourth to last, into that third to last, pull through, second to last, pull through, and last, pull through for one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. Then yarn over, pull through all five, and our row three is complete. And just to double check and make sure, we should all have the same amount of stitches as chains that we made. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stitches. Now let's just connect it into the base together once more. 
we're going to start by counting up the next two available stitches. There's one, here's two. Into that second stitch, we're all going to insert, yarn over, and pull through everything on our hook. That still doesn't count as a stitch. And then just to work our way up to the following row, slip stitch just into that following stitch. Insert, pull through everything, flip our work. And every even number row is going to be a CZ stitch set with no increases and no decreases. So just to get this started, finding that first stitch from our previous row, which is the top of that decrease, a single and a double, skip that following stitch and into the next, a single and a double, and continue on with our CZ stitch sets until we all have two stitches left. Now I'm at the end of my even number row. We should all have one, two stitches left, and all we're going to do is half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row, and we should all still have the same amount of stitches as chains that we made. We're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we are worked all the way up until we reach our stitch marker, and I'll meet you back when we are worked into that stitch marker stitch. Now just as a really quick tip, we should all have the same amount of rows here as we have for the underarm for the front panel. So since I have a total of nine underarm rows, I will meet you back when I have a total of nine of these rows for my top detail. And that's going to end along the base. All right, so we are back. We are all finished up with the increase portion or the underarm portion of our detail. Now we're going to get started on the neckline. But we just want to double check and make sure that we have the same amount of rows as underarm rows that we have. So since I had a total of nine underarm rows, here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And into that last row, which should have ended into the base, into that stitch marker stitch, we're all going to insert a stitch marker into the edge of this row, just so we know the point is going to be. Now, let's get started on our following row. Our following row is an even number row. We're still going to maintain our even number rows with absolutely no increases and no decreases. So do the following row per usual. So slip stitch into that following stitch, do our Suzette stitch sets all the way down, with a half double crochet into that last stitch, and then I'll meet you back to get started on the following row. So the first row for our neckline is all finished, which was an even number row. Now, since we're working down, doing the decrease portion, we're going to start our odd number rows now with a decrease. So from where we're at, let's all chain two and flip our work. And the decreases is going to be pretty much the same idea as the increases. So what we're gonna do is start this row off with a decrease of three half double crochets. So yarn over into that first stitch, which is the top of that half double, pull through into that following stitch, pull through, stitch right after that, pull through for a total of one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all five. Now from here, we're going to skip that following stitch and into the stitch after that, a Suzette stitch set and continue on with our Suzette stitch sets until we all have two stitches left. We should all already know how to do this. And when we have our one, two stitches left, into that last stitch, we're going to do an increase of four half double crochets. So yarn over, skip that following stitch, and then into the last stitch from our previous row, insert with four half doubles. So there's one, into that same last stitch with two, same last stitch with three, and then same last stitch with four half double crochets. And we should still have the same amount of stitches as chains that we made. So I made a chain seven, so just as a reference, I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. And now we're gonna connect it into the base, but it's gonna be connected the same way. So we're gonna count up one, two stitches. Slip stitch into that second stitch into the base to close off our odd number row. Then from here, it's going to be a repeat of our two previous rows until we reach our stitch marker stitch. So let's just do the next one really quickly. Slip stitch into that following stitch into the base flip our work, and then do our Suzette stitch sets till we reach the end of the row, making sure that we end the row with a half double crochet into that last stitch. Our even number row is all finished. Now let's get started on our decrease row together once more. Chain two and flip our work. Starting our decrease rows off, we're gonna start with a decrease of three half doubles. So yarn over into that first stitch, pull through, second stitch, pull through, third, pull through for five loops, yarn over, pull through all five, and then skip a stitch into the stitch after that, a Suzette stitch set. So there's one single crochet, and here's one double crochet. Continue on with our Suzette stitch sets until we all have two stitches left. When we do, do an increase of four half double crochets into the last stitch. So there's one 
there is two, there is three, and there is four. And just to connect it into the base once more, skip that next stitch into the base and into the next, which is the second available stitch. Insert with a slip stitch, and that's it. From here, continue to repeat our two previous rows, and I will meet you back when we're all worked into the stitch that's right before our middle stitch, and that should be an even number row, so along the outer edge. All right, so I am back. I have made my way all the way down till I worked into my stitch that's right before my stitch marker stitch. Now from here, all we're going to do is our increases, basically the same way that we did the underarm increases, and then our decrease to finish this off, the same way that we just did these decreases. So since we already know how to do the increases and decreases, I'm just gonna talk you guys through it, but if you guys want the visuals once more, the timestamps will be linked in the description. So since we all should have ended along the outside, we're all going to chain two, flip our work, and getting started on our odd number row, start with an increase of four half double crochets, do our Suzette stitches until we all have four stitches left. Then do a decrease of three half double crochets, slip stitch it into the base the same way that we've been connecting it so far. Our following row, which is an even number row, is just going to be a Suzette stitch row, making our way all the way down until we have two stitches left, and then half double crochet into that last stitch. We're gonna continue to repeat these two rows, making our way all the way up until we are worked into the stitch that's right before our following stitch marker stitch. And then I will meet you guys back. And just as a really quick tip, for each of these rows that we have, we should all have the same amount of stitches as chains that we made. All right, so we are back. We have made our way all the way up until we are worked into the stitch before this following stitch marker stitch right over here, and we all should have ended along the base. Now from here, we're just going to do the decrease portion of our detail, so basically the same way that we did this decrease portion over here. I just wanted to meet you guys back to make sure that when we get started on the following row, we're going to insert our stitch marker into the edge of that row to match this stitch marker over here. So since we should all be along the base, slip stitch into that following stitch into the base, do our following even number row, and then I'll meet you back. So I've just finished up the first row for my underarm, which was an even number row. I made sure to insert my stitch marker into the edge of that row and continue to do our decrease rows, which is the same as these decrease rows over here until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut. And just as a really quick tip, we should have the same amount of rows starting from this first decrease row right here as underarm rows that we made for the front panel. So for me, I will have a total of nine of these rows. That's just a really quick tip, but go ahead and get this finished up and then I'll meet you back. All right, so the entirety of our front panel is finished. Now we're going to do nearly the same thing for the back panel. We just aren't gonna have to do any of the increases or decreases for the middle portion because that's straight across. So let's put our front panel away and take a look at the back panel. Now, like I said, the back panel is gonna be done pretty similarly to the front panel starting with the single crochet row. Now that is gonna be exactly the same. So we're all gonna start by inserting our hook into the corner stitch of the back panel, and we're gonna alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. Now once we reach our stitch marker side row, chain one only for the first one, and then continue on alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row. But the second stitch marker is not going to have a chain one. Like the front panel, we're going to insert our stitch marker into the first single crochet worked into the first underarm row. At the end of the row, chain one and cut, and then reinsert your hook into the other corner stitch, then I'll meet you back. All right, so now that our single crochet row is all finished up, just like the front panel, we did do a chain up of one and cut, and now we're going to repeat the same thing that we did for the first portion of our front panel's underarm. So we're all going to make the same chain made for the front panel's detail, which was seven for me. Then repeat the same increase rows for the same amount of rows. Then I'll meet you back. And if you'd like those instructions again, they will be linked in the description. All right, so I've just finished up the increase portion for my underarm for my back panel. And now I'm just going to show you what we're going to do working our way across, which is going to be basically just Suzette stitch rows with no increases and no decreases. But make sure that you are not forgetting to insert your stitch marker into our last underarm row. So this one right here. And our following row is going to be done per usual. So slip stitch into that next stitch into the base, work our way all the way out, and then I'll meet you back along the outside just so I can show you how we're gonna be working our way back in. So we just made our way all the way out. And now to get started on the following row, we're just going to chain one, since we don't have to do any increases or decreases into the following row. And then just into the top of that half double crochet, start with our Suzette stitch set. So just a single and a double. Skip that following stitch, another single and another double. 
and continue this until we all have two stitches left. Now we should all have one, two stitches left, and just like our previous row, one half double crochet goes into the last stitch from our previous row. And just as one more quick tip, we should have the same amount of stitches as chains that we made, so seven for me. And then connecting it into the base is gonna be exactly the same. So count up one, count up two, slip stitch into that second stitch. And then from here, continue to repeat our two previous rows until we make our way all the way over to our following stitch marker stitch worked into the stitch right before our stitch marker. All right, so we have just made our way all the way across our back portion, and now we're going to finish this piece off with the decrease portion for our top detail, which is going to be done the same way as the front panel. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with those details. We just wanna make sure that when we're getting started with the following row, we are going to insert our stitch marker into the edge of that row to match this stitch marker right over here and continue to do our decreases at stitch rows until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut and then I'll meet you back. Our top detail for our back panel is all finished. I did do a chain up of one and cut and now we're ready to seam everything together. So let's place our front panel on top of our back panel. Then we're all going to insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and now we're going to do a single crochet seam. So let's all start by finding that first stitch into the front panel, find that first stitch into the back panel, and if you're like me, you have some tail ends, go ahead and place those over your hook if you don't want to weave them in later, and single crochet around everything. Again, insert your hook into that next stitch into the front panel, next stitch into the back panel, and single crochet, and that is it. Continue this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut, and then repeat on the other side. So now that everything is all seamed together, we're ready to get started on our strap and the prep for our sleeve. So first things first, we're all gonna make sure that our work is flipped right side out, meaning the seam that we just made is along the inside, and we're gonna insert our hook into the stitch that we have that's nearest to our side seam. Then from there, we're gonna alternate between one to two single crochets, making our way all the way up until we reach our stitch marker, starting with two single crochets. So this is my top loop right here. I'm gonna insert with one, and then with two single crochets into that same top loop. This is my following top loop. I'm gonna insert with just one. Again, my following top loop, insert into there with two single crochets. So there's one, there's two, into our following side row, insert with just one. Continue doing this, making our way all the way up until we reach our stitch marker. And as a really quick tip, we should all end right after we finish up two single crochets into the same side row. So I've just made my way all the way up to my stitch marker stitch with my single crochets. Now from here, we are all going to be inserting our stitch marker into that last single crochet that we just made. And then from here, we're all going to make a chain that can reach up and over our shoulder to reach the top corner stitch of the back panel. Now I need roughly seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters. So I'm gonna start by making a chain 30. So now that we have our chain, I have flipped my work over. So now we're looking at the available stitch marker side row. And what we're going to do from here is single crochet it into that side row. And then we're gonna alternate between one to two single crochets, making our way all the way back down. But that single crochet that we're gonna use to connect also counts as our first single crochet because we need to start with two single crochets. So into that side row, we're gonna connect it using a single crochet. And we also need to insert our stitch marker into that single crochet to match the one that we did within the front panel. And then into that same side row, with a second single crochet. Now working our way down, we're going to put one single crochet into the next side row, into the side row right after that, two single crochets. And then from here, continue to alternate, making our way all the way down. So we've made our way all the way around with our single crochet and strap and slip stitched into that chain space. Now from here, we're gonna get started on the length of our sleeve. So let's all make a chain that reaches roughly about where our elbow is, because this is going to be a three quarter length sleeve. Now I need roughly 10 inches or 25 centimeters, so I'm gonna start by making a chain of 40. At the end of the row, chain two and flip, and put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one. All right, so we made our way all the way up with our half double crochets, leaving that last chain. So now we're going to increase into that last chain. So we're going to be putting two half double crochets. So there is one, and into that same last chain with my second half double crochet. Now we're going to need to connect it into the base. So just like how we did for our Suzette stitch detail, we're all gonna start by counting up one, 
two stitches into the base, slip stitch into that second stitch, and now it's all connected. Now getting started on the following row, again, just like our Suzette stitch detail, slip stitch into that following stitch into the base, flip our work, and now we're going to do more half double crochets back down. But now, since we're getting started on our even number row, we're going to start this row off with an increase of two back loop half doubles. So yarn over. We're all gonna start by finding that first stitch from our previous row, making sure that we're not counting those two slip stitches. We're going to insert with one, and then into that same first stitches back loop with a second half double crochet. Then put one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches. Now from here, all we're gonna do is continue to repeat these two rows. So at the end of the row, chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while doing an increase of two back loop half double crochets into the last one. Slip stitch into the base the same way that we just did. Flip our work and then start our falling row off with an increase of two back loop half doubles and one back loop half double into the rest of our stitches. Continue to repeat these two previous rows until we reach our stitch marker. And just as a really quick tip, we should all end along the base. All right, so we are back. We have made our way all the way up with our increased rows until we have reached our stitch marker stitch. Now from here, we're going to work off of the base now, and we're going to make a panel that can wrap around our arm, and then we're going to connect it into this side over here. But while we do that, we're going to do some Suzette stitch details along the top end. So since we all should have ended right after an odd number row, what we're going to do from here is chain one and flip our work. Now we're all gonna start this row off with a Suzette stitch set. So let's all find that last stitch from our previous row, not that slip stitch, and insert with a single crochet and a double crochet. Then from here, we're going to skip that following stitch and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Then at the end of the row, chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and I'll meet you back when we have a total of five stitches left. Or until we have three less half double crochets than our previous row. We've made our way all the way back down and we should all have one, two, three, four, five stitches left. Now we're going to do more Suzette stitch details. So into that following stitch, which is the fifth to last stitch, we're going to insert with our first Suzette stitch set. So there's a single crochet and there's a double crochet. Skip the following stitch and then into that stitch right after that, a single crochet and a double crochet. We should all have two Suzette stitch sets. And then we're going to half double crochet into that last stitch because we should all have just two stitches left. So yarn over, skip that second to last stitch and into the last insert with a half double crochet. Now from here, we're going to continue to repeat these two previous rows, but it's basically just going to be an extension of our Suzette stitch detail because we want a triangle shape until we reach the outside of the middle of our arm. So just to make sure we got it down, let's all do our next even number row together. So from here, we're all going to chain one, flip our work, and we're always going to have one more Suzette stitch set than our previous row. So our previous row had two Suzette stitch sets, so this following one is going to have three. So let's all start with our first Suzette stitch set into the top of that half double crochet. Skip one stitch into the following with another Suzette stitch set. There's my second set and then my third. So skip one stitch into the following with a Suzette stitch set. Remember, after a set, we are always going to skip the following stitch, and then into the stitch after that, a back loop half double crochet, and put one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches. Now, to make sure we're doing this correctly, every even number row will have one more Suzette stitch set from our previous row, resulting in one less half double crochet from our previous row. But for all these detail rows, they will all have the same amount of stitches. But then at the end of the row, let's all chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into the same amount of half double crochets as our previous row, minus three. So we've just made our way all the way back down with our following row, and we should all have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stitches, or three less half double crochet from our previous row. So what we're gonna do is insert our hook into that following stitch with a Suzette stitch set. So there's one, and then there's two. Skip that following stitch into the next stitch, insert with a another Suzette stitch set. And all together we should have two more Suzette stitch sets. So here's my second to last. Skip a stitch into my following stitch with another Suzette stitch set and we should all have two stitches left. So we're gonna close off the row with one half double crochet 
And just to make sure that we are on the right track, we just did a total of one, two, three, four Suzette stitch sets, whereas the previous row had one, two, three Suzette stitch sets. So we're looking pretty good. From here, we're gonna continue to repeat our two previous rows, making sure that every row after this has one more Suzette stitch set than the previous row. Or just as another tip, every even number row will have one less half double crochet from the previous row, and every odd number row will have three less half double crochet from our previous row. But the total amount of stitches will always be the same. I'll meet you guys back right after an odd number row so we can do the middle row and then we can work our way up with the other side of our detail. So I am back and I'm at the halfway mark of the outside of my arm. Now I have a total of 17 rows and we should have all ended along the top. And now we're going to do our one middle row and then we're going to decrease the detail back up and then we're going to finish off the sleeve. Now our middle row is going to be a continuation of what we were doing previously to have one prominent point for the middle. Then we'll decrease the detail back up on the other side. Get your following row finished, and then I'll meet you back at the bottom edge of our sleeve. So my middle row is finished. Let's get started on the decrease portion of our detail. Since we're along the outer edge, chain two, flip, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch for the same amount of half double crochets as our previous row, plus one. So we've made our way all the way up with our back loop half double crochets. Our last back loop half double crochet was, was worked into the double crochet from the last Suzette stitch set that we had from our previous row. So now from here, we're going to do our next Suzette stitch set starting into that following stitch, making our way all the way down and then into that last stitch, a half double crochet. So just into that following stitch, a single and a double, skip a stitch, a single and a double and continue this until we all have two stitches left. So now that we've made our way all the way down, we should all have one, two stitches left. We're just going to half double crochet into that last stitch. And just to make sure that we are on the right track, our previous Suzette stitch detail, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And for the row that we just did, we should have one less set. So I should have eight. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then my half double crochet. So we're doing pretty good. Now just get started on the following row. We're going to chain one, flip our work, and then do our Suzette stitch sets until we have one less set than our previous row. So my previous row had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets. So I am about to do seven. So chain one and flip your work. So I'm back and I have one less Suzette stitch set than my previous row. So just as a refresher, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for my previous row. So right here, I should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And from here, we're gonna yarn over, skip that following stitch, and then into the next, a back loop half double crochet. And continue with one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches, and that's it. From here, we're gonna continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as our detail increase portion that we did, not including that middle row. Now, just as a refresher, every row will have one less Suzette stitch set than the previous row, and every odd number row will have one more half double crochet than the previous row, and every even number row will have three more half double crochets than the previous row. All right, so we are back. We have just finished up our entire detail portion, and we all should have ended along the bottom. Now from here, we're gonna get started on our first decrease row that's going to be connected to the other side of our sleeve. So since we should all be along the bottom, we're all gonna chain two, Flip our work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two stitches so that we can decrease together and also connect it into the base. All right, so we've made our way all the way down with our back loop half double crochets, and we should have left our last two stitches. Now from here, we're going to do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets, but before we finish the decrease, we are also going to want to connect it into the base. And we have to do it this way for every size to ensure that we end on the same amount of stitches as chains that we made when we got started on our sleeve. So what we're all gonna do is yarn over, insert our hook into that first stitches back loop, pull through. Then we're gonna insert our hook into that last stitches back loop, and then also into our stitch marker stitch within the armhole as well. So into the stitch, we are going to insert, yarn over, and then pull through everything on our hook. So we should have one, two, three, four, five loops, yarn over and pull through everything. So there's the first two and continue to pull through the rest of the three stitches. 
And then from here, we're going to make sure that we're working our way down towards the bottom of our armhole, but slip stitch into that following stitch as well to connect it. Now our first decrease row for our sleeve is finished. Now from here, we're just going to continue on with our decrease half double crochet rows. So since we just finished up an odd number row, connecting it into the base, our following row is an even number row, so we're just going to slip stitch into that following stitch into the base. So that's kind of per usual. And then from here, flip our work and start off our following row with a decrease and then put one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches. Then at the end of the row, chain two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while doing a decrease of two back loop half double crochets into the last two stitches nearest to the base. Then we're gonna be connected into the base the same way that we've been doing per usual. And then just continue to repeat those two rows with our decreases, making our way all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, I'll meet you back so we can seam it all together. All right, so we are back. We have just finished up the decrease end of our sleeve. We don't have any more stitches left to work into, so all we're gonna do is flip our work wrong side out, do our single crochet seams, so the same seams that we did for the side, and I'll meet you back at the end of the row. So we are back. I have just finished up seaming our sleeves, and now we're going to single crochet along the bottom of our sleeve just to cinch it a little bit. So all we're gonna do is just put one single crochet into every side row, so let's do that together. This is my first side row. Insert your hook with a single crochet. Your following side row, insert with another single crochet. And that's basically it. We're gonna continue doing this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. Then slip stitch into that chain space. All right, so now that we've made our way all the way around with our single crochets, we're now going to make a chain the length that we'd like for our cuff to be. So I'd like for my cuff to be roughly two inches or five centimeters. So I went ahead and made a chain of 10, and now we're going to do slip stitch rows. So we're all going to block off that last chain and do a chain one. That chain one doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. And then we're gonna insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook. Then yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And that is our first slip stitch, let's do this again. Into that next chain, insert, yarn over, pull through everything. And once more, into that next chain, insert, pull through everything. And remember to not tuck too tightly after every stitch, otherwise the falling row could be too tight to work into. But from here, continue with one slip stitch into every chain until we reach the base. We've just put one slip stitch into every chain. We're now at the base, and all we're gonna do is find that next available stitch into the base and insert, yarn over, pull through everything with a slip stitch to connect our row one. Then to work our way up to our row two, slip stitch into that following stitch into the base. Those two slip stitches into the base don't count as a stitch, and we're gonna flip our work. From here, we're all gonna be putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So into that last stitches back loop, yarn over and pull through. Again, into that next stitches back loop, yarn over and pull through everything. Continue with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of the row, chain one, Flip our work and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch again, and I'll meet you back at the base once more. We now have one, two, three rows finished, and now we're just gonna connect it into the base again. It is going to be done exactly the same way as our two previous rows. So once more, just find that next stitch into the base, insert with a slip stitch, and then to work our way up to the following row, slip stitch into that following stitch into the base, Flip our work and make your way down with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Continue these two rows with no increases and no decreases until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, I will meet you back so we can seam everything together. All right, so we're back. We have just finished up making our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitch rows. Now we're going to seam it together doing an outside loop slip stitch seam. So for this seam, we're gonna make sure that our work is flipped right side out right side up, and then we're gonna insert our hook into the corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. Then we're all going to pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. Now let's do the first one together. We're all gonna start by finding that first stitch into the front panel and inserting only in through that front loop. Find that next stitch into the back panel and insert only in through that back loop. When we have those three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Again, into that next stitch, insert only in through that front loop into that next stitch, into the back panel, insert only into that back loop. Then yarn over, pull through all three, and that's it. 
we're all gonna continue doing this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut and then repeat everything we just did here on the other side. All right, so now that both of our sleeves are all finished up, the next thing we're going to do is single crochet along the outside of our sleeve and strap to make it a little bit more sturdy. So all we're gonna do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out. Then we're going to insert our hook into any one of the side rows that we have along the top of our sleeve. Then we're just gonna alternate between one to two single crochets, working our way into every side row, working our way across the top of our sleeve, then one single crochet into every chain. Slip stitch into that chain space and then do a chain up of one and cut. And then repeat on the other side. So we are back. We have just finished up single crocheting along our straps. Now we're just going to single crochet across the top of our front and back panel. So all we're gonna do is make sure that our work is slipped right side out, right side up. Insert our hook into the last stitch that we have into the strap, then just alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row, and then slip stitch into that next available stitch that we have in the strap on the other side, do a chain of one cut, and then repeat on the other side. All right, so we have just finished up single crocheting across the top of our front and back panel, and we are all done. Last thing we're gonna have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And there you have it. Hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. Join us on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch y'all on the next one. Bye.